this guitar, uh, I remember where I got this one too. This is uh, factory white with a tortoise guard. And what I really liked about it, it was very similar to the one that Brian Wilson was playing in the Beach Boys. And uh, I got this in Long Beach many years ago. And this is pre-L, so I think it, it's like a late two or early 63. Clay dots, old logo, pretty amazing condition. Great custom color. So cool. Yep. And this is a 60, I believe, Sunburst uh, Jazz Master. I'm guessing Lemo brought this out? Yeah. Yes, I think so. <laughs> so this is pretty cool. We've got a beautiful one at the store right now, mm -hmm. so I'm not going to take this out yet. A little wear, but not much. I mean, pretty damn clean. So Original cool. tweed case. Here. This is a 59 Jazz Master with the anodized gold guard. Mm -hmm. and in incredibly clean condition. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I wouldn't, uh, I'm not going to say it. In the words of my buddy Dan, I wouldn't shit you, you're my favorite turd. <laughs> <laughs> that would be Dan. <laughs> What's this other one? Circle in the drain. Circle in the drain. Circle in the drain. <laughs> so this is a 55 P bass, uh, kind of very similar to Sting's bass, except this one looks like it's hardly played. Mm -hmm. um, this is the second generation of P basses. A little bit of wear here, but Really clean, two-tone sunburst, Telecaster pickup, maple neck. Um, it looks like Sting's bass before it got dragged under a bus. Really cool too. Yeah, wow. Yeah, the plates and all that. So the first um, Telecaster bass was the thick body like the regular Telecaster. This is the first of the contoured bodies like the Stratocaster where they contoured the body to fit against you real nice. And yeah, just a really tremendous bass and fantastic condition. And Ridiculous. it's got the original tweed case. Here's one the camera will like. Yeah, this one is a Dakota Red 65 <laughs> P bass, and I know where I got this one. Oh my Where'd God. Where'd you get it? Uh, well, I got this one actually in uh, San Pedro. And actually, it's a 66. Um, Still um, dot neck, but the pearl dots, transition logo. How long wow. did you get that one? Oh, maybe 30 years ago. Wow. That's awesome. You can remember that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. San Pedro? The instruments, you know, they meant so much to me, and I love them so much that, you know, I, the ones that I saved, a lot of this stuff I can remember. Um, so you know, cool. especially the ones that are really special. Mm -hmm. um, so, and you know, I've sold some things off from the warehouse, but we still have a lot of stuff left, as you can see. Um, so this came from that other Fender Fender. Do you want us to open this up the other is, Yeah, this is another Fender. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, is even more let's cool. just go. We're going. Yeah. Where are we going? Now, there's oh a few empty cases in here, so we'll have to kind of pull, pull out some stuff. All right, let's take a break. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Not you, the camera. So over here, um, I'm either seeing double, <laughs> or there's two beautiful 59 anodized guard jazz masters over here. Oh um, my gosh, Lemo. And they're both in oh my. Good shape. Uh, Michael's starting to shake over yeah. there. <laughs> Jake. Oh, oh, no. this your is face. a oh, 65 white with gold parts. Wow. Olympic it white turned, and it turned, uh, yeah. it it turned, turned yellow. yellow. Yeah. Uh, with gold parts. Just a really I beautiful I love the example. gold parts. Get Lemo's face when we open this one now. Well, you can't see it. Boom. Whoa. <laughs> so white with uh, tortoise guard. And that is a slab board. I think that's like about a 61 or two. Brandon, you want to grab that? Let me yeah, that is so grab. cool. With hand <laughs> Boy, he's Again, leaving. Like he's just, he's gone. Away. He's out of here. Well, Can't I know the, there's one in there that is his. So uh, what makes uh, this white and it didn't turn yellow and then uh, that? A lot of it is where in the country it was shipped, how much it was played. Oh, okay. um, you know, if it sat in a store <laughs> window, uh, a lot of it is exposure. So sometimes, you know, these colors will fade a bit. And um, the gold, though, that's so yeah, cool. Yeah, the gold. Yeah. 
Now it's very cool. Uh, and then this one over here is it's a over there. 63. That's pretty beat up though. I don't know. <laughs> no, actually not. It's it's wow. pretty damn clean. So, and this is a pre L 63. And just one of the nice. really pretty guitars. Gotta get out. Kind of trapped back here. I know. And then this is a 67, I believe, a Dakota Red Fender Telecaster. And, so cool. Uh, so this, I have the Esquire and I have the uh, P-Base over there in the same color. That's so rad. And where, I hear- Where is that P-Base? Is it? Yeah, what are you yeah. playing over there? Uh, oh! Uh, uh, <laughs> we found some American themed <laughs> jazz masters, red, yeah. white, and blue. Actually, Brandon, grab that, I'll grab this track. Okay. What is this blue one right here, Norm? Okay, so this is the one that Mike's kind of crazy guy go over. That's a 63. <laughs> Lake Placid Blue Jazz Master. With a matching headstock. With a matching headstock. See my count? I have that on my wall from Norm's calendar. So this is <laughs> actually a, a, nice, a nice photo over here other than me. I'll take a photo <laughs> but, of you guys. Uh, so what we have is a 67 Dakota Red Tele, a 66 Dakota Red Strat, and a 65, I believe, Dakota Red P-Bays. Wow. Crazy. So, you know, if you love colors like I do, <laughs> you do. <laughs> One of the coolest colors I've ever all, did. I mean, it's so you know, cool. really nice, clean, a uh, little bit of wear, but not much. And uh, that is classic. Yeah. Is that cool? That is just so great. So rad. Good photo. <laughs> this is about a '64, I believe, '63 or '4. It's got the uh, transitional knobs, but it's clay dots, candy apple red. Redhead stock. Okay, Limo, you're gonna have to put that down. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? Is this the part where I put this down? Okay, let's get it on camera. Never pick Look it up at this. Camera. Are you getting this? <laughs> the coolest part is, is you. <laughs> Are you getting it? Are you getting this? Because usually done. they have the witch hat knobs and and the binding on the neck, but this is like the real deal. Right. The before. color is just popping. But you know what? Last time I just was. So mesmerized. I didn't even put my hands on the neck. I was like, just whoa. And now that I actually got to play it, it's a just an unbelievable guitar. You can oh, already tell. Look at Brandon. He's next to each other. See what they. Oh, man. It's oh. not exact, but it's really cool next to each it other. It is cool. You just wanted to. He wanted to picture. I like this. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a thing about colors. I kind of like colors a lot. And this is Lake Placid Blue, and I'm kind of loving all this stuff. There's a beautiful jazz master. That one is the one that Mike has been gaga over. I believe that's a 63 with clay dots. This is a 67, I believe 66 or 67 with a bound neck in the uh, block inlay. And then Brandon's holding a 60, let me see the back of that one there, about a 67 um, Esquire, also in Lake Placid Blue. And the wow. tags too. Yeah, yes. it's nice having the tags. I Amazing. was always kind of a sucker for the taggers. Great yes. taggers. Taggers. So cool. So, wow. Um, this one. <laughs> okay, so these are both 59 Jazz Masters, uh, both with the anodized guard, both in remarkable condition. Wow. And uh, Brandon, you want to hold one of these? Michael, yeah. you can hold one. Oh. Uh, remember, Brandon, this one goes. It's amazing with these flat wounds. How long do you think this guitar was, have, has been in? I don't think I ever changed the string. That had it plays great. <laughs> maybe 30 years. Wow. Amazing. So. All right, let's take a picture. Whoa, One second. So these are three very early jazz masters. Michael doesn't really like jazz masters. Not my thing. <laughs> Not my thing, but I'll do it. So um, <laughs> these are... The two of the gold guards are 59, and this one is either a late 59 or early 60. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a two-tone sunburst with just a tinge of red, but all of them nice shape. There's a little, you know, wear on the back. Look at this but, one, wow. Yeah, Crazy pretty, clean. Pretty stunning. So, uh... And this one has flat wounds on it, and I was just yeah, saying to Norm, it still plays great right those now. Those strings have probably been on there for the last 40 years or so. Yeah, this is Maybe unbelievable. Longer. Crazy. Wow. What is that, Norm? 
So this is a Vox Mando guitar. 